Welcome to another episode of In Range. This is actually an update on the What Would Stoner Do project, which is far and few between, but there's a reason for this. We know that every four years things get really exciting in the firearms industry, and there's probably going to be increased demand very soon. And one of the problems we had with the previous manufacturer and production of the carbine was barrel acquisition. So we have a new barrel we're going to test today. It's a 16 inch from Kinetic Manufacturing, 1 and 7 twist, 556 five, NATO pencil profile. And we're going to do the same heat test we did in previous videos. We've got a target down there at 100 yards. We're going to do a five round group. Then we're going to go look at the five round group, circle it with a pen or something, come back, do a 30 round mag dump into the dirt, and then fire another five round group on the same paper target. This will test if the heat treatment has been, the heat and stress relief has been done properly, that the group should not shift from point of aim. It might open, but it won't change point of impact, point of aim. So let's go ahead and get our first five round group. So this is just factory ammo, nothing special, no match grade anything. I'm aiming here, and we zero with a 50 yard zero, so hitting here is exactly what we'd expect. But we have just about a two inch group. You can see they're all clustered together right here, all five rounds. So we're gonna go back, do a 30 round mag dump, fire right to the same point of aim, and those rounds should be at least centered in the same place. That's the goal. I'm gonna go ahead and dump a 30 round mag just into the hill, let the gun sit for a minute, load a five round mag, and then do the same group test. So these shots are not going at the target, they're just going into the dirt. All right, give it a second. Let's load the five round mag. Now we're gonna take our time on the target. Let's see if the group shifted. All right, so what you don't see in the video, and we've got reasonably good mics, is we actually have quite a bit of wind out here. So we do have one flyer, which is absolutely wind drift. This is, we're having gusts out here, they're going up to 20. In fact, dust devils just went by a minute ago. So we're gonna call out a flyer, because that's just the nature of the beast. But the group as a whole, there are 10 hits here. You can see the ones we circled, so we've got the extra ones in here. The original group center is right about here. And even if you count the flyer, the, the next group center is here. But realistically, without the flyer, the group center is exactly where we would expect it to be. So we're disregarding wind conditions and not shooting match ammunition and all of those things. We did not see any sort of shift due to the heat stress on the barrel with the second set of five rounds. Now, if you look at some of the old in-range videos when I did a Colt SP-1 from the 70s, we saw, I forgot what it was, four minutes or five minutes of wind of, of, of shift from this exact same heat test. And I'll link to this video at the end. That's because heat stress relief and all the things that we do now weren't able to be done then. So we just wanted to make sure we're not testing for exact accuracy here, exact group size. We're testing for whether or not it shifted under heat. And the answer is it did not. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little more testing for our own purposes, but this barrel from Kinetic Manufacturing looks good to go. And this increases our ability to improve the supply chain during what is in inevitably the surge that's coming uh, pretty soon. If you like this stuff, consider supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash inrangetv. All the ammunition today and all that helps to support this channel and to be able to keep developing this project further and further. If you can't, just subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.